Hello, I'm Daniel, and welcome to the Amona Project. We here at the Amona Project are continuing in our series of videos with respect to inspiration, uh, education, uh, guidance, advice, and um, I want to talk a little bit about uh, the Torah uh, telling us uh, to remember not only Litzias Mitzrayim, not only the Exodus from Egypt, this wonderful, miraculous thing that um, the Creator took us out with a mighty hand and an outstretched arm, but he also says, you shall remember that you were a slave in Egypt. And um, you would think that the joy and the freedom and the happiness of being uh, released from captivity, that would be the focus. But the Torah balances that and it says, no, remember that you were slaves, slaves to Pharaoh in the land of Egypt. And um, so it seems like a, a little perplexing. So Harav Shimon Schwab, um, offers a, a rationale. In the Talmud, in Masech the Megillah, uh, page 4a, Chazal, our sages, say that we have to uh, hear the Megillah reading at night and again during the day. Quorum just happened a week or so ago. We have to hear it at, uh, at night and again during the day. Rashi explains that, well, this is because the Jews cried out at night, during the night, and during the day. And again, it's per perplexing. Like, shouldn't, we, shouldn't we be concentrating on the fact that we were released from almost certain doom at the hands of uh, Haman and the Persians? Um, why this concentration on the, uh, on the Taurus, on the, on, the, on the affliction, the hard times? Um, Similarly with, uh, with Passover, with uh, Pesach. Um, we should celebrate, as we are commanded, our remembering uh, the, the exodus from Egypt. So why the focus on the slavery, the hard times, the affliction, the sorrow, the punishment, the grief uh, of being slaves to Pharaoh? Um, Rav Shimon Schwab says they're not two separate things. Remembering the suffering and the affliction is also part of remembering the miraculous uh, delivery and salvation by the Creator from our people, from, uh, uh, from death and uh, destruction. It plays an integral part in the efficacy of the, uh, of the mitzvah. Um, it's not there just because. It's not there simply by chance. Um, it's there through divine providence. Um, remembering the suffering, remembering the affliction is an important part uh, of the miracle. And um, again, Pesach, at, uh, at Passover. How do we start? Lift up a piece of matzah. This is the bread of affliction. You know, the bread of slavery, the poor man's bread. Uh, it doesn't say this is the bread of freedom. We don't start off, start off, and uh, the maror, the bitter herbs, to remind us of the bitterness uh, and the harshness of our slavery uh, uh, to Pharaoh in, uh, in Egypt. Um, the, the bitterness and the pain, that memory is an important part, and it's an integral part of the, of the miracle. It's part of the miracle. Uh, they're not two separate things, and that's why we must recall it. Similarly, the Talmud in uh, Masech the uh, Avodah Zara, uh, 9a, says, the world will exist for 6,000 years. The first 2,000 years are void. The next 2,000 years is a time of Torah, and the next 2,000 years, the final 2,000 years, are the days of the coming of Moshiach. And um, so, according to Chazal, according to our sages, um, the suffering that the Jews have been going through and continue to go through for the last 2,000 years since the destruction of the, of the temple, that is kind of like the birth pangs um, of the coming of, uh, of the Messiah, the coming of Mashiach. Um, and it heralds the advent of the Mashiach, when that day comes, when that, those glorious events happen, 
uh, and with the coming of Moshiach. And we, we are herald, uh, we get a herald of, of the new era, universal peace, universal knowledge of God, all the Jews returning uh, to Israel, the temple rebuilt. At that point, we will see, we will look back over 2,000 years and see that the sufferings and the pains and all the destruction, that was part of the delivery of the final, um, the final miracle. Um, it's part of it. It's not either or. It's not separate. The suffering leading up to the, to the delivery, that is part of the uh, the process, and we should uh, we should view it as such. Um, we're going to be doing more videos along these lines. Please come back. Please watch. Please learn. I hope you're finding them uh, of some value. And until next time, on behalf of the Immuno Project, I'm Daniel, and thank you so much.